Off we go camping to Buxton for a couple of days. So, time to unpack. I can't actually believe we managed to fit the kids in here as well. The tent comes in a, a really sturdy wheeled case, so it's easier to load and load. The past tents have been all pole tents, so this is the first air tent that we've actually had. And oh my gosh, how easy is it to put up and take down? Um, the other ones, shall we say, used to cause a few arguments now and again. This one, we could leave the kids really and they could do it. It's super easy. <laughs> Going up, bud. Inside we have a few key things that we like to bring. This is one of them and um, it's a travelling wardrobe, a, a postable wardrobe. Really, really straightforward to put up, just like the building cubes. And when it's all set up in place, it's, a, it's amazing. It keeps the tent so much tidier. Everybody's got the shelves or a little box to put the things in and the coats all get hung up and away. The kids' pod have the bunk beds in there, the high gear bunk beds, they're really comfortable, we don't use a sim mattress at all on there, uh, just the Berg house sleeping bags and then in the double pod we have a, a self inflating air bed which is brilliant, really comfortable to sleep on. We have the nightfall pods as well which is great for summer camping, nobody's waking up with the sun at half four in the morning, it's like having blackout blinds in the tent. We haven't found anywhere with any carpets in stock for this tent at the moment so we've just got four of the picnic rugs. Uh, with the velcros stitched on each part and I, I lay four down. We come camping with three other families um, and the room inside here is absolutely immense. I would probably say it's like the gazebo that we sit under outside just in case it, it drizzles at all. Um, but push comes to shove if the weather was really bad, uh, not this weekend, we dropped on a lovely weekend, but if the weather was really bad we could actually probably all sit in this living area quite comfortably. The front porch bit is a brilliant space. It's used for all the kitchen area. Uh, the two front doors open up fully so you can either cook and it feels like you're outside or if the weather's not brilliant, you can zip it up and, and still have a, a cooking area that's not inside the tent. We've got a, a little camping table that we bring as a, as a worktop. Uh, things like the kitchen roll, hung off bungee cords, everything like that make the, the camping space a lot more usable. Um, brilliant for kitchen spills or anything like that but we've got the uh, stove top cooker, kettle area, water dispenser and then underneath we keep the electric fridge. It's just a, a cool box that we can keep in the car or in the, ca in the tent. We also have the kitchen set up. Again this is really really useful. Uh, it comes with two compartments. Both of them have got a really solid, sturdy wooden bottom to them. One we keep all the plates and stuff in, and the other we've got the food and bits and bobs, all the tins. Uh, one of the things that we always kind of keep camping with us are the drawer setups. These are brilliant because the car that we have, it just stands straight in the back, already full, already stood up. So I can pack it to the brim uh, with all the stuff like the cables and the chargers in the bottom drawer. And obviously no camping trips complete without duct tape. Um, and then along with that we also have a cool box, uh, it's full of ice packs and so on but it's just for things that don't necessarily need to be in the fridge. This one we got from Costco, it's huge inside and um, can keep loads and loads of food fresh in there for quite a while. We have the little portable bin and then one of the best things that we did buy is the Caddock, uh, the Chef Barbecue. Again this one uh, I think is the, the larger one that you can get, you can get a smaller one. But this one uh, comes with the paella dish. We cook full English just in the paella dish on its own. All the bacon, all the eggs and sausages. Um, and I also fry potatoes in there all at the same time. It's big enough for all five of us to eat. The only thing I do separately is probably things like the beans and the, the tomatoes. I use the little jars, little pirate jugs, and I put them in the cast iron pot. A little bit of water in the bottom of there. Um, and I stand one in probably full of tomatoes and then another one at the side full of beans. It works brilliantly as a little oven and obviously it cuts down on the amount of pans that you need to bring camping with you. Underneath the pan um, is the barbecue area. Brilliant for things like your burgers and anything that you want to do on an evening. We toast waffles on there as well. 
and definitely can't rate this high enough. It's, it's a really brilliant little thing to be able to bring when you want to cook for a larger family. So I hope you enjoyed a, a tour of the Burke House Air Telstar 8 tent. Uh, we're going on plenty of camping trips off all over the UK over summertime, so we'll have plenty more videos and hacks. If you want to subscribe, follow us on Facebook, YouTube or Instagram.